Hello everyone and welcome to uh I guess this is Mech Warrior. I'm trying it for the first time. Um I figured why not uh give a video just uh to you know, I don't know. I'm usually pretty good with like mech games and stuff, so figured let's see how difficult it is to figure out. <clears throat> you know, first impressions and such. Oh well, that's fun. I think it I hope it's not opening in a window suck but uh, I don't have the fastest computer I've got like a <laughs> some would say I have a dinosaur it's a AM3 um, Phenom 2x6 by AMD achieved with CryEngine with um, the new graphics card Radeon 580, I think. Yeah, the 8 gigabyte version. Uh, Jeez, it's, it's loud as hell. Um, anyway, uh, okay, so it's asking me to create an account. It's, it's nice and fun. I'm going to put it on pause for just a second uh, so that uh, I can fill this information out. But I'll get right back when it's uh, filled out. I like confidential stuff, you know. All right, <clears throat> back. So it, it went a little, it went smoothly, but I'm kind of like stuck on this. I don't know what the hell this is. I signed into this thing and I don't know, it's telling me to like try to download it somewhere else or something. I, I don't really know what the hell the deal is. Um... I'm in windowed mode, I see that though, so I think I'm just going to try to hit shift tab. Ah, very good. Alright. Oh, email here. But yeah, it was kind of nice that it went smoothly like that. Um, I remember, I, I think it was a Hawken that was like a friggin' nightmare. Uh, one of the terrible ones is, uh, oh man, what's that dang thing called? Origin, I think? Something like that. Oh, great. So I gotta play like a madman for a day so that I can, like, get money and stuff? I, I don't know. I just, I saw, like, a short, well, it was a long video, but I didn't pay a whole lot of attention to this, uh, it was like an introduction to it, you know, on the Steam thing. Hanger sure does have this kind of the same color as Hawken. <laughs> uh, such a shame that Hawken went down. Okay, so, um, launch tutorial. I should probably do that. I just wish I knew how the hell to, like, get into my settings and, like, make this full screen. But, uh, that, that's cool. That's cool. Uh,. That bonus awards extra C bills. And last for your first 25 games. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, mouse is stuck. Not good. Don't crash my computer, please. Now let's see what's two times. Well, now four. 4 times 3. Yeah, 12 gigabytes of RAM. But I do have an SSD, so... I can play Star Citizen on it. I mean, it should be enough. Hopefully. The year is 3051. Humanity has spread out amongst the stars, bringing their hopes, their fears, and their wars. There's the wars great houses and clans vie for territory and honor using gigantic fighting machines known as battle mechs. You as a child of that conflict are about to join that war. Not very promising. We're speaking 3,051. More meat for the grinder, huh? Just patch me through. This is the introduction tutorial thing. Welcome, recruit, to your first taste of iron and steel. My 
primary job is to make it a little less likely for you to crash and burn the moment you step on the battlefield. Let's drop you down here where you won't get your ass shot off right away. You're sitting on top of a fusion reactor in a multi-ton war machine the size of a building. <laughs> Time to learn how to use it. This is your screen. augmented training hut. On your right, the training roadmap. It lets you know how you're progressing. On your left, the checklist. It shows your objectives and activities. Have a look around your cockpit. And when you're ready, power up your battle mech. Does that just take P, though? This is actually pretty good detail, though, for real, though. That's kind of cheesy. I wonder if everything does everything, though. That'd be cool. You know, like, Star Citizen. Reactor online. Sensors online. Yeah. Flight. Microsoft Flight. All Blue systems Flight Simulator X. So that's the complicated HUD you're looking at. And that's okay. why we're giving you access to a field menu. Sure. Just hit Escape. Here you've got buttons for game settings and such, but you can also click on HUD elements to display a field manual entry. Click away at the display to pop up more information. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm lost. <laughs> I need the easy button. Okay, some more information. So that's probably my compass. It's got a lot of stuff on it, doesn't it? Why are there different signs for it? Torso direction. Uh, your leg direction. A little up arrow, down arrow. Okay, that makes sense. What the hell's the B thing? Uh, VIP escort. I mean, I think I got the basics of it. Sure. Uh, can I just, like, skip this? Or... Hit escape again to get back in control of your battle mech. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's your answer. Uh, might as well click on it. I'm recording a video so I can go back and look at this if I need it. I'm sure I'll get the hang of it. Wait, whoa, whoa, settings. Ha! Uh, let's see. Video. That had a crappy resolution, too. Okay, it's uh, 1360 by 760. Not windowed. Save. Ah. Yes. Ah, this should fix a few things. Alright. Uh, I don't know where the hell that came from, but sure. Okay, so escape again. Oh, wow, there's more stuff too. Okay, there's some over here. Uh, weapons panel. Just assuming that speed. Yeah. Right. 
That's everything. Wait, what else is? I'm not sure what a lance is. But okay. It just tells you who's on your team and what their health are. Okay, cool. I think that's everything. Okay. To help you learn the controls, your mech comes equipped with a cheat sheet. Press and hold F1 at any time if you need a reminder of what button does what. Try it now. Now you know where to look. Don't forget it's there. Use it. First things first. Let's get that battle mech moving. A battle mech drives like a tank. The mech goes where the legs are pointing, not where you're looking. I don't know if I like that, but okay. Ignore that fact, and you'll find yourself jammed up wondering why you're not moving. Now, since you're a raw recruit, you get extra help to show where your legs are pointing. Look down. That arrow shows you where your legs are pointing. The mech will move in that direction. The bottom line thingy. There it is. You found it. That arrow points forward for the mech, no matter where you're looking. Well, off you go. Hey, don't scratch the paint. There's no strafing or sidestepping in a battle mech. Okay. You've got to turn to change direction. Why is my, my D is not supposed to do that? I mean, the whole idea is that I can, whatever. I like auto senses to the center. How do I turn though? Okay. Where do I go? See, like I wanted to like turn my body. Oh no, I can't. Okay. See or F to align torso and legs. This brings your view over around on top of your legs and your direction of travel. I hit C. What does F do? Same damn thing. This shifts your legs so they line up with where you're looking. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be tricky. I can't hold it though. Oh, wait. F. I have to go in reverse. That's a, I'm seeing the, the basic control thing happening. Just, you know, I just give it a shot, you know. Right, so S is reverse. Okay. Simple. You now have the basics to controlling all battle mechs. And now, let's look at your weapons. The status of each of your weapons is displayed in the lower right of your HUD. Weapons are clustered into groups that fire together when triggered. Mm -hmm. Not sure I just I'll those. just enable your weapons and off you go. Weapons online. Battle makes can be configured in hundreds of ways with dozens of different weapon combinations. Okay. What do I shoot at? It says fire group one, press one or left mouse button. That's your auto cannon, a ballistic weapon. Sorry about the container. Okay. Ballistic. Ballistic weapons run cool and have higher rates of fire, but they can run out of ammo. All I weapons have a cooldown time and won't refire immediately. That's a large laser mounted on your right arm. It's just a one click. Large lasers have a lot of range, do lots of damage, and generate lots of heat. Heavy and expensive, too. Weapons mounted on your arms can aim independently of other weapons. Hold left shift to unlock your arms. Uh, okay. Your arms are now unlocked and can move freely. Well, they move a little faster than the bot, I guess. 
because it's a small pot. Right. Um, so if I... The extra reticule shows where your arms are aiming. Try shooting your large laser as you move your controls around. Weapon group three. Those are medium lasers. Medium lasers have moderate range, moderate damage. What is exactly is moderate? It says what, 150 meters? On this mech, your medium and small lasers are mounted on the torso and always fire straight ahead. Why is it mounting wherever I point? You're not making any sense. <laughs> there, Those are small lasers. They recharge quickly. Why does it say that I have two of them when it like, shows one of these? Small lasers have a limited range and can do a lot of damage up close. It doesn't hit it. That's hella funny. Wait. Short-range missiles. Missile launchers are usually light and compact for their firepower, but tend to spread their damage. Ballistics and missile launchers have limited ammo. Check your weapon display. Ninety-six. I think it's just like I, it doesn't. It's not like off and on. It's not a toggle. It's just like so I guess like I don't know how the hell that works. But sure. And then uh, unlock all weapons. Press forward slash. Alpha strike fires all weapons at once. Expect a lot of heat. Okay. Well, congratulations. I'm thoroughly convinced that, with minimal help, you seem to be fully capable of finding your own shiny brass backside. Mm, not sure what that means. Okay. Uh, now what? Next right. up, your battle grid minimap and compass. Mm. Make your way out of the landing zone to the next stage. Do I get to jump? That's a waypoint. The blue smoke and symbol marks it as an objective to go to. That symbol appears on your compass and battle grid minimap. What compass? Oh, the symbol right compass, right, sure. Off you go. Work your way over there and run through the smoke. Don't get lost. Where the hell? Right. You made it. 
Now let's see how well you drive that battle mech. Start the challenge by going through the green start marker. Follow the arrows. Why is my... Oh, that's the timer to go. Okay, and make your way through each yellow marker as fast as you can before the clock runs out. Okay. Start the challenge by going through the green start marker. Okay. And like B. F. F. This is kind of cool. on my map. I don't think that's good. It's probably not good. Wait, no, that was good. I think. Didn't it say somewhere the time was 57? 1 minute 30 seconds? Why is a silver cross? Or what? I don't understand that. Why would a bronze start be a minute? And then a gold star be 30 seconds past a minute. That one reruns the pilot challenge for a chance to earn any awards you missed. That one leads on to the next stage, basic targeting. Just I walk into the light. I don't know how to target yet. Learn more, suck less. Did you see that on the right? That's pretty so, funny. let's get you dealing with the enemy. Sure. One of the most important skills to master is targeting. I wish I could see how loud you were. Because I think it was only loud on mine. Uh, I can't remember what the setting was before. Enemies appear as red arrowheads on the map and as red diamonds on the compass. Friendly forces appear in blue. That's me on your map. So go find the enemy. Enemy mechs need to be in line of sight to show up on your radar. So keep a wary eye out. That's an enemy. So we do find, target, and destroy. Target acquired. Shortly after targeting, a detailed scan appears. Targets farther away take longer to scan. That's a boar's head atlas. A big, bad assault mech. 100 tons of bad attitude. <laughs> this is the enemy's damage indicator. When you target a mech, you get a full scan of its weapons and health, front and back. Okay. This is complicated, but... 
Each part of a battle mech has separate health and armor. Always, always shoot him in the brain, right? Gold is full health. Orange is damaged. And red means dangerously low and about to go. One way to kill a mech is by destroying its center torso. Always that. check your damage indicator. The center torso on this one is ready to blow. One shot may do it. Okay, let's try the uh, right click. Is that this? Where's his thing? Is that what his thing is on the right? I think that's his thing. Oh, upper right, maybe. That's the way, but be careful. There's another battle mech behind you. Anything out of you won't show up on your map. Target acquired. And that's a battle master hell slinger. An 85 ton assault mech with lots and lots of weapons. The torso on this one is untouched, but a battle mech can also be taken out by destroying both legs. And by a great grand coincidence, this one has one leg gone. Shoot the other to finish it off. Let's try like four and stuff. Wait, what is the hold shift? No. <laughs> it's like hold shift? No, I thought you hold shift. Wait, that one's gone? Yeah, that one's gone. Okay. And then, uh, what, like four? Target Two down, one to go. Find the last enemy battle mech. Three and four. Find the last battle mech. Oh, it's right there. Alright, three and four. Alright, so our target. Target acquired. Listen closely. There's another, much harder way to take out a battle mech. You gotta go around the back. And that's to destroy the small, vulnerable window protecting the cockpit. Oh, okay, so shoot him in the brain. The cockpit is a very small part of the head. Miss, your shot just hits the torso. Target destroyed. That's all there is to it. Target, find the weak spot, kill. Of course, these ones aren't shooting back. Now, here's a few more for you to practice on. Ones that shoot back? Target acquired. One leg is gone. Go for the other one. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Arms are about gone on this one. You still have to take out the center torso, or legs, or head. Uh, four. Right click. Three, four. I'm trying the center torso, I ain't getting shit. Right arm. still alive. Why is it still alive? Why won't you die? Ah, I'm looking more at the freaking thing. Target destroyed. Where am I going now? Oh, all right. And then R. Target acquired. The armor on the cockpit is gone, but the vulnerable spot on most battle mechs is quite small. Target 
destroyed. One leg is gone. Go for the other one. Target destroyed. New target. That acquired. one's hiding in the smoke. Try thermal vision to cut through the haze. New target. Target's acquired. father. That one's hiding in the smoke. Uh, Try thermal vision to cut through the haze. The head. Target destroyed. Well, we're just about done here. But there's way more to learn about piloting a battle mech. For that, we provide a playground to train and test yourself and your battle mechs. Welcome to the Mech Warrior Academy. How do I jump? Test weapons and battle mechs at the firing range. Survive the gauntlet. Improve your targeting skills. And try out new battle mechs. Okay, so I guess that's basic training. So let's... Let's, uh, you know, try to actually, like, get into a battle or something, maybe. Uh, start a challenge. No, no, I did basic training. We want to get out of here. I think I hit escape. Quit Academy. I think I can get back to it later. So I'm just going to throw myself online, see what this thing's all about. It's been, like, you know, quite a while, so... I know I'm making a YouTube video. Um, how far am I in? That's right, it doesn't... Oh, no, it does. Okay, it's right there. 30 minutes. Wow. The fucking basic training takes, takes 30 minutes. All right, whatever. That's cool. Items received. You receive the following items. Achieved in a basic tutorial. Pilot challenge. One pass. Shiny brass. Backside. Okay. GD. So I think it's probably a good idea to do the tutorial if you've never been in here. Because it you up with a little bit of money or something so you can buy stuff maybe I don't know. well that's a ghetto looking bot but sure um unit name not a unit i guess it's not a unit um that's the trial mech that's what i was in yeah, i think it was pretty powerful But only own mechs can be customized or saved. Trial mech. Is that the only one I can use right now? Drop decks. Select mech. These are all trial. I think it probably puts me in a really difficult class that I was What does that say? I don't know, like the size or something. There's like four sizes or something. I, I don't know. There's a, on the tutorial thing that, that uh, guy put on the Steam thing, um, did a, told about all that stuff, so I'm sure I can figure it out. Reduce times use assault mix. Assault mix. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have to find my assault mech. I'm guessing the battle master's the assault mech. I don't know what an E6 is. E5. E4. Tonnage. Why doesn't it say the. Oh, what? Oh, here we go. Alright, assault. Wow, I guess the Warhawk, the thing I'm in, is an assault. Okay. Missiles 2, energy 6, energy 5, missiles 0. 
I, I heard that missiles are good. Ballistic. It's got no ballistics, though. And I'm not sure how missiles work, exactly. I'm sure I could figure it out. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Let's just, let's just, yeah, we'll do the trial mech. Apparently it's an assault class. Apparently. So, alright. Uh, I am going, I guess, back. Unit name. I guess I can't rename it because it's not an actual. Oh, wait, now that's the. Let's see, what is it called? A uh, faction or something? Faction play? Fight with your faction. Okay, well, how the hell do I join the faction? Insufficient funds. Whatever. Quick play. Play quick. In quick play. Should probably uh, check that out on Steam. Uh, we're not. Choose a map. I don't fucking know that. I don't have a preference. Can you just get me into a game? Canyon Network Domination. Okay. Hopefully I'm getting put in with a bunch of noobs. I mean, this is a really old game, though, so... You know... There's only so much you can hope for. Maybe it'll put me in with, like, bots. Like, uh... More robots. Which I hate playing. That's why I downloaded this, because I need to stop playing War Robots. That game is garbage. I kind of wonder what that DLC thing includes, but anyways. Um, take a company command? I'm just going to hit ready, I think. Hey, look, our team's all ready. Theirs isn't, so we're going to win. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Is it P? It's P. All systems nominal. Yeah, I get a chance to get to the target and capture it. Cut down any enemy that get in the way. Why is this dude okay? Running? How do you run? I want to run. Maybe I'm going to give you these. What is it? Four, five, something like that. Forward slash thing. I, mean, I guess I just stick with my teammate. What the hell is that thing? Fuck. 
guy over there too. Like a, like a like a Gauss rifle. Oh, okay, I get it now. Target acquired. people that just didn't want to destroy our their thing or something. I don't know why. Did I get anything? The blue is one I don't know what the hell. What's a lance? Oh, it's like something. Okay. Uh, escape. The enemy is 75% of the way to victory. Shut them down. Crash. I don't know if I like that bot. Because <laughs> I lost in it. Uh huh. Alright. That was the wake up call. There's too many damn lasers on that other one. I think I only get 10, so...
Was I in the Warhawk? No, because I needed... No, it says a Gauss rifle. What the fuck? It doesn't say missile. The other one had a missile, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna stick with that. What was the last one called? Oh, these are my only options. I don't think uh, they're doing this anymore twice in a row. I'm not even sure what it is. It's a skirmish. Okay, it's a skirmish. Cool. I'm not sure what a skirmish is, but I'm hoping it's just to kill other bots. Because I don't know what in the hell I was doing on that last one. So I'll go, go kill a something. I'm like, a what? Where? Huh? I'm not sure. Destroy all enemy players. On the time out most kills wins. On time out most kills wins. So don't die. Gotcha. Tab to see scores. It was it F one I think shows the the dealy. Mm-hmm. If you wanna fly high, equip more jump jets. I don't even know if I have a jump jet. command take company command okay grim plexus <laughs> the sky I should should I do that now He's got a thingy. I've got a thingy. Why do I have that thingy? Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Command to all warriors on the surface. Your task is to wipe away all hostiles. Show no mercy.
target acquired. Thousand cattle. This is a really big map. Oh, I think that's why people are getting under this shit. Gotcha. Target acquired. Destroyed. New target acquired. Target acquired. Radar block. All right, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Why are people shooting in the air? Oh, what's that? New target acquired. Does it auto lock or do I have to like uh, actually aim that? Because that's like far on my screen. Ripping my balls off or something, or did I just see an enemy there that just blasted me to Kingdom Come and like he's not there? It's... Oh, he is. Okay. Does it 
damage the done. Jaws of defeat are closing in around us. What in the fuck, dude? Damage done is 41? Uh. <laughs> I'm like, um... Hmm. It sure did seem a lot easier than the other one. I don't care, just give me a ballistic fully automatic weapon, dude. That's what I want. Can't hit shit at a distance. I just wonder if you get more, you know, from waiting until the end or not. I don't want to wait till the end, though. I'll do it on my next one. <laughs> Damage done was 41. Awful. Right control to assign a weapon to a group. Right control. Yeah, what the hell else did it say? I need something with all the friggin' enhancements. Base structure. Base armor. Missile velocity. Ballistic four. Energy four. EC ten. Oh, those are the hard points, not what it has on it. Okay, what the hell is a C Ultra AC5? It's not a large pulse laser. That's all lasers is that one. I don't like lasers. Because man, those AC fives, whatever the hell they are, is possible. I think I need to just count the weapons. Huh? Pitch angle. Yaw angle. 60 plus 30. So that means I can turn all the way to the left. Yeah, on all these. I think. 20 plus 30. Huh. Okay. Mech Bay, 0 out of 4. Stick to that uh, with the. Can I buy anything? I've got four million. Why does it say owned? Oh, it doesn't. It says red. Okay. They're all 50% off. I don't know. Do I have to spend real money or is it. 
See, I have these, like, blue things. How do I go to, like, the next page? Can I do anything with the blue things? Somebody told me you can convert them or something. Using real money. So this is completely pay to, pay to play. Is that what they're telling me? Battle max. Soul. How in the hell am I supposed to know which one to get? Whatever. What is this thing? There's a lot I'm going to have to look at. Heat management. Firepower 30. Firepower 56. That is actually the strongest, that one. But I can't figure out how to use that stupid Gauss rifle. Go back to this. Lifetime. Taunts? No. What the hell would do that? 30 days active premium time. So that's limited. Right. I'll do that when I figure out how the hell to play this game. Oh, so. Wait. No, I was skirmish. Son of a bitch. Capture the enemy base. Oh, P is base. Ah. Mm -hmm. Let's 
So it, it literally is play. I, I gotta look this up. If it's pay to play, I don't know if I wanna fuck with it. See, why does it say C? And that means I'm on company. I'm Charlie. I'm on this Charlie squad. Okay. Hmm. Is, can I find their name? I'm with Eve, Piper, and Treadbull. Hmm. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Run, run, run. 
run, run. New target acquired. I know this is gonna be a solid shot. Heat level critical. Ah! I did 79 damage. Yay! That was better, I think. Hi! I take 257 damage. Really. I don't understand this. But that's okay. You know, if I could just do as much damage as I get, you know, taken, that would be good. That'd be really good. This actually takes skill to play, you know? Versus, like, war robots. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the video there. That was a long, long time to get introduced to it, but, uh, uh anyways, uh, that was my first time playing this game, so uh, it was very interesting to me, and I'll be returning soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that, and thank you for watching, and uh, see you next video.